As much as I love talking about low-code capabilities on the platform, I realize there are times when we need to write some JavaScript. Here's a common situation we all face. Getting a single record using the Glide Record class. Well, did you know that there's a method to do that so that we don't have to write add query, query, and next? It's called get, and it's really handy for more than just sysids. Let's take a look. Now, if we didn't know about get, we might use a script something like this to retrieve a record based on its sysid. We'd first use add query as a filter to get the record that matches a particular sysid, and then use query to submit our query to the database, and use that if case gr.next to check if there's a record to get. It would work, and it's not wrong, but there's a shorter and somewhat clearer way to do this. A script like this does the same thing to try and get a record with the given sysid. And if it fails, it returns a null and skips the inside of that if block. Pretty nice, right? But wait, there's more. Did you know get can accept two parameters? Check it out. This version of get uses the first parameter as a column name and the second as a value. It's trying to get the record on our table where number is CS triple zero one double oh seven. So Chuck, you ask, what happens if I use get where multiple records match like this? So glad you ask, I reply. As suspected, there are potentially lots of records with the value of priority one in our table. The short answer is we get the first one the database decides to pick. And in most cases, this isn't a good policy because we're not sure if it's the exact record we want. However, this could be exactly what we want if we simply want to check if there are any records with priority one. Although I might suggest looking at using glide aggregate if all we want to do is count records, but that's another video for another time. It might even be that our priority column is using that unique field that I talked about a couple of videos ago. So there are no duplicate records. In that case, we're okay. We'll either get that one record back with this value or we'll get nothing like the other examples we've seen. Well, there we go. Glide records get method can not only shorten up your code, it can enable us to do a few other things when we just need to grab one quick record based on a field value. That's all for this time. Don't forget, if you've got a tip about the platform, an app, or capability, share it with the world. And don't forget to use the hashtag ServiceNowDYK to be part of the community. I'll be back soon with another ServiceNowDYK. Thanks for watching.